Okay, here we are with a brand new clean to show. We're going to create a New Year's Eve countdown clock, uh, and it's going to run with the actual system clock to have an accurate countdown time. And first, I'm going to use um, some LED strips or some LED pixel pictures to create this, and then add the numbers in there. So I'm going to use the Impression X4 bars, so I'll patch those in now. And GLP. Single pixel mode. I'm going to use 12 of those. I'll patch those straight in. Now I'll bring up Capture Visualizer to see how they look. So they are, they're pointing right down at the moment. I want them kind of centered and facing the camera. So I'm going to just change them in the visualizer. Uh, put them at five meters high. First of all, let's change the rotation. So facing the camera and rotate it at an angle. Now position zero. I want to fan them out. Uh, so fan and just roll. They're just spread out there. And they're also really bright at the moment. So if I bring up my visualizer settings, yeah, I'll locate those again. First of all, I don't want to be straight on, so I'm going to zoom right into them. They're still super bright. So I'm just going to turn down the uh, the rendering. So the rendering settings, we've got a simple, we'll just lose that beam. We've got to see the actual pixels what they're doing in there. So we want to display the numbers countdown on this. So make sure I've selected my fixtures and I'll create a new group. Let's record these as a group. Uh, put it in four for now. And I'll give that a legend. Fix map. All right, so I'll select those and I'll start a new shape. I'll make sure I'm editing that group. And sometimes what happens is they'll be lined up like this. If you actually have a look, I drag one of these out. That's my first fixture. And there's my second fixture. So actually all over the place. Uh, well, they're kind of all stacked underneath each other. We want these lined up in the proper columns. So if I grab all the fixtures, I can rotate them down here. There we go. I'll just change my grid to match. So I'm in the right order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's my pixel grid. So if I grab those, I'll start a new effect, create effect. And I can just add a text element straight into this layer. So create new text. And I'll put 10 in there just so we can see it. Make sure we've turned on the fixture down here. With the brightness. There we are, 10. Uh, I'll just go into the text layer. Adjust the width just so we're squeezing it just in and maybe push the height so we can adjust this so it fills up that, that box nicely. And so we're going to do the countdown. For this, I'm going to count down. I'm going to count down from 20, but to make it easier, I'm actually going to start recording my cues from one just so I know uh, what the cue numbers match, what the actual cue is. And I'll start a new cue list. So record, create cue list right here, and append q one. And now I can just add each one numbers in. I can see as I can up. At least I'm matching up with the number here. So if I lose my place, it's very easy to pick up where I'm up to. All right, so next queue is 10. Um, and because the, all of these values are being saved into the queues, I can adjust now just for 10. I'll bring the width back in. And one's a bit weird. So I can just offset slightly so I get a, the more of the pixels I want lit up. That's kind of the number 10 I want. So save that and I can continue on with my numbers now. Zero in there, just for the end. Oh, that's my killer stuff, I click through all that. That counts up to 20. I'll open that queue list for editing. All right, so I'm trying to move queue 21. Ends up to 0 0.1, so now I've got a zero queue. So when it's counting down with time code, right now I can see time code is disconnected. Uh, so I'll enable that first of all, just clicking here. I'll make sure I've selected that whole column, time code enabled. Right now they're all at zero, zero. Uh, what we want to happen is we want to start at 
more close to me. So 11, 59 and 40 seconds will start the countdown. So I can put that straight in here for all of them as well. So at the top, 23, 59 and 40 seconds. And that's all of them now. Uh, so I'll just go through backwards because I know what each step I would need that number to happen. So I'll just go through here and edit those. So 23, 59, 59 will be one, 58. And now it's gonna go through these one by one. Forty. Little my cues for my very last zero zero cue. Uh, because funny things will happen if I'm trying to get to midnight at zero zero, it might not loop back through the start. What I will do is I'll just make this very simple. Eleven fifty nine fifty nine point nine nine nine, and that'll happen pretty much. Oops, fifty nine. Pretty much at the midnight mark as well. So we'll go zero on midnight. All right, there's my time code. I'll bring up my time code window. Just here. So right now it's running off an internal clock. Hit play, not much is gonna happen. First of all, it's not enabled. Uh, so I'll click enable and also in my queue list, make sure I'm reading the right time code. So under options, time code, uh, time code is connected on and time code source one and time code one. So under my cues, and now to edit this time code, uh, we go to the time code menu here. I can change the start time. So I want to start at 11, 23, 59, and let's go to 35 seconds. Just so got a bit of time ahead of that. I can exit out of that. Now if I hit play, counting up, and my time code. There we go. Automatically kicked in. With 20 seconds to go, and we should get all the way down. And we're at zero, and it stopped at zero. There we go. Okay, so it's working there, but this is running off the internal time code. So it's very easy to switch between time code sources. We can do it from the time code one window. So we can choose which source we want to listen to. This is now engaged and it's listening for that cue. Time code time. So right now, if I can set my clock forward, I'll jump ahead. So I've set my clock internally ahead. So the clock on the actual computer. If we wait a few seconds at 11, at 11.59 and 40 seconds, yeah, I can't doubt your choice. Should start right on the second. And there we go. This is a very quick uh, way to create a time perfect New Year's Eve countdown. Um, obviously you can do a lot more detail if you want in there and something else you'd look at doing is running it actually as a timeline. So if I've got this timeline here, all right, so if I go to options for my timeline, I can make sure I'm running off the same time code, so time code source one, if I exit out of that. And now if I link up, still running off the time code, so I can switch over the clock and now I'm running off that system clock as well. Make sure it's enabled. And now my timeline will have clock source as well. And that can be quite good. You can build out a whole show um, leading up so you can actually have a whole lot of things happening for different times all up until you count down. So you can use lots of different cue lists and have everything synced up in your timeline.